to the tree job but before I go I went ahead and took the um, fan clutch out of the Tacoma here it is here and it's gotten so bad now that it's basically locked up like it's really really tough to spin this um, fan so it just took four 12 mil bolts and I just took a pry tool and pried it out then I've got to take these four, uh, look like tens, get the fan off. And then I'm gonna put the fan on the fan clutch that's on the right Tacoma. All right, got the fan clutch out. Look at how beautiful this metal looks on this seal. This came out of the right Tacoma. It's not the prettiest, but it's tight and it's very very smooth this one i couldn't get to turn this is the one that can't coming off of the tacoma now but it's smooth but it makes um some crackling noise and before i got it to move like this it was stuck so it doesn't look bad. It does have an ASIN fan and an ASIN um, clutch. There's the ASIN right there. So, this is probably three or four hundred dollars right here, and it doesn't work. I just hope that this fan clutch will work. I'm probably, let me see, it's a little bit rusted out. I feel like it would be fine. We're going to give it a go, you know. Um, I'm probably going to put some grease in here. Just some um, synthetic grease or whatever. And then I'm going to go put this fan clutch back in the Tacoma. So the wreck Tacoma so it doesn't rust in that area there. Okay, guys, I got the different fan clutch in and installed. Everything's ready to go. The fan shroud's on. Um, the bottom clip on this driver's side, it's not really in there all good. I'm thinking about just drilling a hole and then running a zip tie through them so the wind can't catch it and blow it. But anyways... I'm gonna set you guys in the back and then start it and see how much noise. The belt is squeaking like when I was trying to tighten everything. There was some belt squeak. But I'm gonna see uh, what this fan clutch sounds like.
see. So it's starting to rain now. So I'm going to uh, get some of my stuff up and go put that other fan in the uh, reticle. All right, then I'm. And here's the reticle here. So took the fan clutch off of here. Got all of this, like the pool in that there. So I'm going to put the fan clutch that doesn't work bolt it back on here so then all this stays dry. And I'm gonna need my other hand. Alright fan clutch back on now, I'm going to have to go get my trailer because can't fit this one in my truck but let's see what this cut looks like I don't think I'm gonna cut any more slabs on this one. I'm just gonna rip it down the center and then put it on a sawmill one day. Gotta put my ladder up. Went ahead and split this one in half. So this pal here, I think the only one that I'm interested in is maybe the big one. And then possibly this small one here. But there is a big piece right in there, but I can't really see it too well. And then I might try to put the ladder on this and go through it. But other than that, I think I'm done loading stuff up in the truck because this one's just a little bit too long. I need to get my tape measure, but I can't get it all the way in there. And then I had a hard time fitting it in between the fender wheels. So I'm going to borrow my, well, I'm going to bring my dad's trailer and until I can find a new one. But I was told by a sawmill guy that white oak cuts like red oak. So when you cut it, it looks like red oak. And then red oak, it cuts like white oak and then dries the red oak. I don't know uh, how true that is, but if anybody else knows the difference between white oak and red oak without looking at the leaves, it's pretty cool. So you can see the pink fresh uh, shavings and then the old shavings. 
So these blanks here, I'm gonna put this in on the bed at the sawmill and then run blade on top. Just like put this on the bed, run the blade on top and then that would be chorus on. Cause this tree had the rot in the center and I had already basically went to um, the pith, not really the pith on this side, but the pith on the other side. Cause I kind of angled the cut a little bit. Starting to rain now, so I'm getting my stuff up. All right, just got the first cut on this big boy. Already seeing some spot, so that's good. What it looks like. Here's my second cut. So now let's clean her off. Some bad cuts in the beginning. Just did my third cut. Loaded up, ready to go. I'll tell you what, though, it's a beautiful day in North Carolina. Today is January the 23rd, I think, and it's 70 degrees out here, so. Windows down, sunroof pop. On the way home to drop these slabs off.